Hello everyone, my name is Hilde, this sweetheart is Kiwi, and we have a giant box of stuff from uh, Universal Orlando Line, because travel is not an option. And I've opened it, so <laughs> there should be less packaging in this. First off, there's packaging! <laughs> but at least, you know, I didn't have to rip into a million things. <laughs> Famous last words. First up, I have this Butterbeer t-shirt. I already have one, I'm not gonna lie, but I love it so much. It's my favorite Harry Potter t-shirt that I decided I wanted a second one. And these retail for $35. They're a bit steep, but they're just so fun to wear. This is a men's medium, but I feel like they run very small for a men's t-shirt. Which is to my advantage, of course, but still. So bear in mind if you buy it and you are a guy that um, you may want to consider sizing up because they just are very small. Then I have, and I have two of these because I might want to attach them to my Weasley Wizard Weezer scarf. And there are little purple pygmy puffs. They were sold out on the UK Harry Potter shop, but they weren't on the Orlando one, so. That's where I got him. And he's um, also having a really weird uh, expression. Poor Puff. I feel like the expression of these tiny Puffs is like super bizarre. <laughs> my, my pink one is like perpetually kind of sad looking. And I always feel bad for it. Like, oh no, poor Puff. Then I have this one, which is also kind of sad looking. I don't know, I think. <laughs> Maybe they're not that good at doing faces on tiny pygmy puffs, but they're still super cute. Even <laughs> they're also not that good at doing the paint on tiny pygmy puffs, but there you go. I mean, if I ever decide to get rid of the pom poms on my scarf, these will be super cute on there and removable, so they'll probably dry faster. <laughs> um, yeah, I also got the Hogwarts wax seal kit because. I love sealing wax and this is a completely different one than the Noble Collection one I have and you know you can never have too many Hogwarts seals right or wax seals in general I have oh that opens easy I have quite a few you probably can't really see it but I will insert a photo of like the actual seal what has been used possibly not not gonna use the wax though because it looks quite pretty with the design like that. I like it a lot. But then again, I am super into sealing wax. I have a Weasley's Wizard Weasley's decoy detonator. I mean, I had to have one. I've wanted one for ages, absolute ages. Because my main collection is, if you've been around for a while, you know this, Weasley's Wizard Weasley's. So obviously I want it. And I'm totally taking it out of the box. I am not much of an inbox collector Sometimes I leave things in boxes because they're easier to display and to dust <laughs> because uh, I think it needs batteries. That's something I'm gonna have to investigate because I think it makes sound but I'm not sure how and I will find out after this video but it definitely rolls because it has little wheels and yeah cool stuff. Decoy that's nature.
And then my last item, bar more packaging, <laughs> which is not an item, but my actual last item is also Weasley's Weird Weasels thing, and it is the nose biting teacup. Would not want in one in real life because I like my tea without my nose getting bitten, but you know, a toy one, I don't mind. This is actual ceramics. Cool. I like it because it has little human teeth all over the edge and like this is like supposed to be gum so that's actually a really cool design and then it comes with a white plate with a gold border and this has a gold border as well I'm not sure if you can see but yeah it's a nose biting teacup <laughs> not super exciting looking but you know still cool for my collection Kiwi has abandoned me over it, so uh, I'm just gonna close without her. Uh, yeah, this was everything from my small uh, Universal Orlando haul. I didn't get that much because it's expensive and as enough as is because the shipping is quite steep. So I avoid buying from Universal Orlando till I have like a couple of things that I really, really, really want and can't get any anywhere else. And I would have paid more on the aftermarket for sure. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with what I got. Uh, let me know what you liked from my haul down below. Uh, and click like if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And leave a comment if you do leave a comment. Please be kind. And I will see you in the next one.